السلام عليكم. This is part two of moralities and etiquette in Islam. In part one, we learned 24 Sharia rulings on moralities and etiquette that should be taught in schools. Now we will finish what we started. We will learn 30 more to understand exactly how God wants our society to function. Bring your coffee and let's start. We will start with how to deal with neighbors. Number one. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Jibreel came to me and kept asking me to be nice to neighbors again and again and again until I thought he might ask me to give the neighbors part of the inheritance. Now we understand that the only difference between the neighbor and your brother is inheritance. Number two, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, ordered us to ask permission before visiting someone. You can call him, you can knock on the door, maximum three times. If you didn't get an answer, go back, don't knock again. Number three, we can find the same meaning in Quran chapter 24, verse 27 and 28. O believers, do not enter any house other than your own until you have asked for permission and greeted its owners. This is best for you, so perhaps you will be mindful. And if it is said to you, go back, then go back. It's better for you. So, no visiting without prior invitation and absolutely no party crashers. If you're not granted permission, go back. Go back without asking why. Don't pressure your friend to reveal private information about his life to tell you why can't he accept you in his house right now. Respect his privacy. Don't say something like, I'm mad at you because he didn't invite me. Why didn't you invite me? It's none of your business. He might have personal issues that he doesn't want to share publicly with you or with anyone else. Number four. Someone might ask, what if it's a public place, like a mall or a supermarket? Do I need to ask permission to go there? And the answer is in Quran 24, 29. There is no blame on you if you enter public places where there is something of benefit to you. Number five. When knocking on someone's door, Asking for permission? Be gentle. The friends of the Prophet were knocking on his door with their nails, not with full hand. Number six. The Prophet also taught us when knocking on someone's door to stand on the side. Maybe to the right, maybe to the left. So when he opens the door for us, we can't see what's inside. And if you're invited in, lower your gaze and sit where he invites you to sit. And don't look around his house. Remember in part one of this video? We learned that believers mind their own business. Number seven. When one of the friends of the Prophet knocked on his door, the Prophet asked, who's that? The man replied, it's me. The Prophet said, me, me. He repeated it as if he disliked it. This is another example of the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, teaching us how to be nice while asking permission. Don't say it's me, say your name clearly. Number eight. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, taught us to honor whoever invites us to his house. He should be the Imam during prayer in his house, and he should be in the seat of honor of his house. Except if he asks for the opposite, of course. Now let's talk about the host. Number 9. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Whoever believes in God and the Day of Judgment should be generous to his guests. Number 10. In Quran, chapter 51, from 26 to 27. We learned from Prophet Ibrahim, peace and blessing be upon him, how to be generous to our guests. He went to his family and came with a fat roasted calf and placed it in front of the guests and asked them, why don't you eat? Number 11. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, taught us that a guest has a right, if he's from outside of town, to offer him to stay in your house for free, full board, three nights. No questions asked. If you can't do three, then minimum one. And if you want to do more than three, you will be rewarded for that. This is how generous we should be to our guests. Okay, enough about neighbors for now. Let's talk about more categories of moralities. Number 12, in Quran, chapter 23, verse 8, God is saying that those who are true to their trusts and to their promises are the successful ones in the hereafter. Keeping your promises and not betraying trusts is the difference between believers and hypocrites. Number 13, the prophet peace and blessing be upon him said, there are three signs of a hypocrite. When he speaks, he lies. When he makes a promise, he breaks it. When he's trusted, he betrays his trust. 
even if he observes fast, performs prayer, assert himself as a Muslim, it doesn't matter. Number 14. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, He who does not thank people does not thank God. It is very important to learn to say thank you to everyone who offered you even the smallest gesture. Say thank you. Number 15. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, You're not one of us unless you have mercy on the children and you show respect to the elderly. Muslims don't throw their elders in nursing homes. Muslims don't make fun of a wise old man and call him a boomer just because he doesn't like a new gadget. Muslims show respect to them. Number 16. When the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, arrived in Mecca, the disbeliever father of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq came to him. And the Prophet said to Abu Bakr, Your father should stay home and I go to him to invite him to be Muslim. This is how the Prophet respected old people, Muslims and non-Muslims. Number 17. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, taught us that within the family, children should ask for permission before entering the room of their mother. Maybe she's changing her clothes or something. So always knock and ask permission before entering anyone's room. Number 18. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, hated sitting on the roads. He said, if you insist on sitting on the road, then give the road its rights. Lower your gaze. Avoid harming anyone, physically or emotionally. Offer peace to everyone, advice towards good, advice against bad. Number 19. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, The example of harmony, empathy, and mercy between believers is like one body. If one organ of this body is hurting, all the other organs can sleep because of it. This is how united we should be. Imagine only one organ in your body is hurting. Let's say your legs. Let's say you have headache. All the other organs are suffering with it, even though they don't have any problem. Number 20. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, God sent me to perfect the moralities. Moralities are the end result that we achieve from faith and worship and so on. Number 21. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, The dearest and the closest of you to me on the day of resurrection will be those who are the best in behavior and morals. And the most hateful and the furthest from me on the day of resurrection will be the talkative, the pretentious, and the arrogant. If you are one of those, please stop right away. Number 22. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, With good morals, you can get the same reward of someone who is fasting his day, praying his night. This is how important morals are. Number 23. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, The best of believers in faith are the best in morals and the nicest to their families. Number 24. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Whoever does not have mercy on people, God will not have mercy on him. You shouldn't be proud if you're a strong, feared man crashing everyone in front of you. You should be proud if you have mercy. Number 25. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Allah will help his servant as long as he's helping his brother. Need help from God in school, in career, in your health, in your relationships? All you have to do is to find someone in need and help him and God will help you. Number 26, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, If you are trusted with money, give it back. And don't betray whoever betrays you. Don't say he started it. You never betray, full stop. Number 27, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, The most beloved people to God are the most beneficial to others. And the most beloved deeds to God are helping a brother in trouble, or paying his debt, or feeding his hunger. Number 29. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Two deeds in the balance are heavier than others. Good manners and silence. This hadith summarizes both worlds, being nice in normal situations and anger control otherwise. And finally, number 30. The Prophet once said to his companions, Do you want to see a man of paradise? A man then passed by and the Prophet said, that man is of the people of paradise. 
one of the companions of the prophet wanted to find out what is so special about this man. So he decided to spend some time with him. He noticed that this man did not perform anything extraordinary. He was a normal man from Medina. The companion finally decided to tell him what the prophet said about him and ask him, what is so special that you're doing? The man replied, the only thing I can think of is that I make sure that I never sleep with any bitterness in my heart towards anyone. That was his secret. If you think this content is helpful, help it spread by engaging with a like, a comment, and a share. And if you missed part one of this video, click here. And if you want to watch our full playlist on Sharia Law, click down there. Thanks and Salam alaikum.